seeing that NIL is headed this direction, not only on the collegiate level, but potentially on the high school level. This NIL education, I think, is vital to us. And we, as an association, have partnered with the Eckerd Group to help uh, educate our coaches on what NIL is. And when we explained to them what we were trying to do, they were like, man, this is what we're looking for. We need to get ahead of this. We need to make sure our, our coaches are, are, are educated. They want the coaches to be involved in the recruiting process, so they need to know and understand NIL because that's part of the recruiting process now. Our goal is to help our college coaches understand uh, the NIL a little bit better and to help them from a legal standpoint, which would help them educate our high school coaches. I think we've got responsibility as coaches to, to have answers or at least to know where to look for the answers. And that's something that was just foreign to me and something that I realized I, I didn't know what I didn't know. And, and so, you know, looking at some of these opportunities to get coached up on it, to, to learn more about it so that we can get that over to parents, we can get that over to kids. Uh, you know, I think that's just our responsibility and our job as coaches. We have to educate people that, you know what, this isn't going away. You can't put your head in the sand and act like it's not gonna be here. You actually have to do something about it. And so th that's the whole approach, right? How do we help the kids, how do we help the coaches, help the kids with accurate and timely information? It's our goal to educate our coaches so they can educate the kid and the parent so there's not somebody else doing it, a third party. It's your job to be competent in your community and give information to your parents and kids that they need so they can be successful. That's why you're coaching. Why stop here?